Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about the books that I hauled at the end of November um, because I was in a little bit of a slump and didn't feel like reading, but I always feel like buying books. So hi, my name's Talia. Um, I love books. I love bandanas. I am so glad you are at my channel today. Um, this haul was kind of inspired by a trip to Barnes and Noble um, that I took when I was vis visiting family for Thanksgiving. Um, and I was wandering Barnes and Noble, um, looking at all the books, feeling all the books, but I did not end up buying a single book there because I just have a really hard time paying full price for books, especially if I a book that I know I can get used. Um, there's some books, like some new releases, some books that just aren't in my library or aren't, um, uh, are not available to get used um, that you gotta pay full price for, right? Like it happens. But a lot of the books that I was seeing in Barnes and Noble, I was looking up online and I was like, I can get that for so much cheaper. I can get that for so much cheaper. So um, I ended up after the holiday um, going home and doing a second sale order. Um, so I'm gonna show you what I got for that order. Um, I got eight books and the price of them was probably the cost of like maybe one and a half books at Barnes and Noble. So I'm pretty stoked to show you what I got. Um, the only book that I'm not super happy with the condition, you'll see as we go through, like most of them are in pretty decent condition. Um, this one is not in great condition. Um, so Neil Gaiman, Stardust. I don't know much about what this is about, except for I've been reading um, quite a bit of Gaiman lately, and I've loved everything I've written by him. I've read that was written by him. So I'm um, super excited to pick this up. It's not in terrible shape, but it just have like, the bent cover is kind of a deal breaker for me. I feel like I only buy used books if they're like in good or um, very good condition or like new if you can get it for a decent price. But um, for me, like if a book's bent like this, it should not be listed as good condition, which this was. So minor details, it's fine. It's in decent condition, but bent covers bug me. So that's fine. Um, the next one I got is The Rent, The Red Tent by Anita Diamant. Um, I got this for $3 and I'm so excited because I am doing a buddy read with Chatty the Mad Chatter in January. So I needed to have this on my shelf. Um, so I was super happy to get it for super cheap and in very good condition. Um, okay, this is one I had not heard of, but I saw at Barnes and Noble. So I was super excited when I found it. Again, you guys, buy used books. If you're in the US, second sale is great. Like I very rarely, I very rarely get books that are not in really good condition. Um, and most of these were listed as good. They weren't even listed as like very good or like new. And like, this is a pretty perfect book. Like this is excellent. Um, so the Feather, Feather Thief, this is a nonfiction, um, true crime, I think. Um, yeah, this guy like, breaks out of somewhere or like for some reason goes and steals like a whole bunch of like bird specimens like feathers and stuff from this museum um so the feather feather thief it just sounded really interesting and I love nonfiction um that is just like not on the beaten path so I'm super excited to check this one out um I found this just when I was browsing um in second sale the sun does Shine, How I Found Life and Freedom on Death Row by Anthony Ray Hinton. Um, I have a soft spot for um, wrongly convicted um, people who spend time on death row. And um, it happens more than you would think it happens. At least in my country, I don't know, you that are abroad maybe have better legal, um, legal systems, but our... Um, our legal system gets it right sometimes, but often it does not. Um, so actually there's a forward in this book by Brian Stevenson, author of Just Mercy, and I loved that book. Um, they're they're kind of hard reads because like it's just so painful. Like being like, this guy was wrongfully convicted, like didn't do what he um what they're saying he did, like, and for whatever reason still got convicted and like spent all this time like on death row. Like when you get even if you eventually get 
um, acquitted. Like, it's like, well, you just spent 15, 20 years of your life in there. Like, what are you going to do now? You know, like it really fires me up. So, um, I'm not sure when I'll read this cause I know it will make me angry, but, um, yeah, this is another one of those stories. Another one I saw at Barnes and Noble and it was $28 there and I got it for three. And look at that. Hmm looks pretty nice um eat a peach a memoir um okay and why did i want to read this it is about a man david chang this is nonfiction as well um oh and it's just his his memoir about um food and being a foodie and i think he starts a ramen shop or something um mafuku noodle bar opened in a tiny stark space in manhattan's each east village it's young chef owner david chang Worked the line serving ramen and pork buns to a mix of fellow restaurant cooks. Um, yeah, and it's the story of his life. So this is what I'm talking about in nonfiction, just like off the beaten path. I just think this is going to be a really interesting read. And I have no idea what it has to do with peaches, but um, it's a memoir I'm going to check out for sure. Catherine Center. I have really loved books by Catherine Center. Um, every book I've read by her, I think I've read... Well, no, there was one I didn't like, so I take that back. I did not like the one where she had the one about motherhood. I thought was not good at all. I can't remember which one it was, but I've read two books by two books by Catherine Center that I really liked. Um, and when I saw this um, book of the month copy for super cheap, I was like, yeah, I'll pick that up. Um, so Catherine Center, the bodyguard. I think the the woman is the bodyguard, from what I um understand yeah she's a bodyguard and she's hired to protect like the guy who's like a superstar um and it's like a romance um but her books don't feel like super romancy like there's romance in them but there's a lot more going on um so I'm excited to see how this one goes also I picked up another James Patterson and I haven't even read my other James Patterson James Patterson is on my list of books I want to read um remember which other one I have I picked but I picked up one at a library sale and then Joe actually from book buds um told me that this is a James Patterson that I should read um he's like oh like I think I think he was saying that the one that I bought isn't a great one so that this would be a better one if I remember correctly um and there was a couple others he recommended to me but um I was like just kind of going through my my Goodreads TBR when I was shopping and I, I saw this and I was like, okay, I need to, um, add that to the list as well. Cause I want my first James Patterson to be one that is good. You know what I mean? I don't want to read one that's like kind of meh. So I can't remember what this is like, this is about. We'll probably just go into it blind and see, and see what happens. And last I got myself a copy of where the crowd is sing. Um, cause I loved this book so much and I listened to it on audio book. If I remember correctly, was it a library book or audio book? I don't even remember, but um, I loved it so much. Five stars. Um, so when I saw it, super cheap, and I knew it would be in good condition because most of the time they are from Second Sale. Um, this is not sponsored, by the way, at all. I just, I just really love Second Sale. I feel like it just makes me really happy that I can get books so cheap. So not sponsored at all. And there's other good books like thrift books, and there's some others that um do a great job as well. You can just get them on eBay, like. Goodwill, you can get books for cheap, but um, I've been having good luck with Second Sale lately. Um, so yeah, I have a copy of this now, and it makes me really happy. So yeah, quite a stack and a lot of hardcovers. Like I'm like so excited about my hardcover stack. So um, yeah, they actually came in the mail today. Um, so I just thought I would show them to you and let me know if you have read any of these. If you have any ideas on what order you think I should read them, um, yeah, let me know. Uh, that's all I got for you today. I hope you are having a good day wherever you are. I hope you take the time today to read a good book or two. And if you are having a bad hair day, just wear a bandana. Bye.